Alrighty, let's play this here. There's sound as always. Beg your pardon? Forgot to knock. So cool. It's very cool. Alright. This is the new version. There's also an old version. Let me look at this. With a side by side. Wow, that's a tough side by side here. So you have the hit. We can see how it lingers longer. The hit more in frame. This is super minimal. But I gotta say, I prefer the newer version, even though it's it's minimal. It's almost like this is, you know, the pickiest thing. Because I like in this one how visible the hand is compared to right there. That being said, it's funny. That's a tricky, tricky thing. So here's my honest answer. <laughs> it's a mix of both. I know this is horrible to say. The thing that I like about the head here is that even though it gives you a bit of a line of action like this, there's something a bit more tense, especially on the exit like that. Whereas this almost feels, I know this is ridiculous, but the head is straight and with this down, it feels like there's a bit more tension to it. I do prefer this in terms of how clean it is but I will probably go with that hand up here, up here, with a fist, with maybe a split between the relaxed fingers. I know this is incredibly hair splitting, but there's something about the tension of the exit. It just feels a bit stroby and fast. On the right one, it's still fast, but I can see it better. But then it has this, a bit of a staggered, down move where I feel like we can streamline this and make it a cleaner exit in a line and not so because it's the hand pointing this way but we're going this way and it almost feels too relaxed I know this is ridiculous but I would keep the spacing <laughs> but keep this on a straighter line like this kind of like that but lower so it's not hitting here it's incredibly picky and the head touch the head again Because what I like too with that exit is how it's slightly... And if I'm contradicting what I said before, <laughs> I apologize. And there's just something about this with the head down and the shoulder up, giving this a bit more tension. And with the head down, tr still trying to hide. Versus this, head stays up and less of a hidden hiding aspect. Again, I don't remember, to be honest, what I said before. What, prompt this, what prompted this, uh, this change? I believe it was the the snappiness of the exit on where it could just be a bit more relaxed, but I think you went slightly too far and by slightly I went a couple percent. <laughs> I know this is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous picky thing, but that is my honest opinion and you can go with what you obviously prefer. If you prefer this, that's fine too. I don't think it's a shock killer, but since you're asking, that is my preference. Now looking at the whole shot, I want to bring down the sound just a tad here. It's all great. Great timing there. I don't know. I didn't see on my viewing. I didn't see anything crazy town that needs to be fixed. It's a nice grab on the fingers on that door. The slight tension there. That'd be super picky, super picky, super picky. That door opens and then see how the door ends. And we have a bit of a a frozen hand. I think I would just ease into this stop so that there's not even like a little bit of a back. You mean like there's a bit of a tension there. You can keep that door going a little bit with a slight relaxation on that hand. 
to exit so it doesn't have that moment of, of an IK arm. That'd be my picky thing. And I wonder if on this you could probably already BOOM! Relax one of the things, like a jolt. I know you have it here. And again, it's not a shock kill, and it's so fast, but since I'm framing through. This face is great. Let's watch this again. I love the walk out. That's great. The only thing I would say, here's a picky one, to really not lessen the impact of that punch. See how much we see of the face? And then it's already sticking out. And I will personally go with he steps out, and not that you have to turn the head against the punch, but I wouldn't go out because it kind of lessens the impact. Where you really want this whole BOOM! <laughs> this thing being the first thing to see. Aren't there teeth? Oh, there you go. Again, you might bring like, I know we talked about a tooth potentially, but that's the only thing. It has a slight ease into that punch. Now, question for you, since it's such a violent punch, do you have controls on this hat? Could that hat stay in the same orientation as this on this frame and then recover and get into that and this orientation but higher and then maybe plop down on here? And I think on the exit should be fine. I don't, I don't think it needs to float off, but that could be something cute. Such a good... The exit is great, the speed. I've happy super picky again, because I think this is pretty much done. So I'm giving you my extremely picky notes that you can decide yeah or nay and then be done with the shot. Since you're initiating a rotation like this in the body, in that hold, you hold a bit, and then as you drop, it continues so that we are a bit more, you know, as it turns this way, we are a bit more this side towards us so it's not a straight down but has an ever so slight continuation of the rotation again it's super picky just because shoo, we're starting and then the exit is a bit one axis down and it could do a little bit of ch uh, chest rotation just wondering That's all cool. Let's look at this. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love this. Again, because I'm in picky mode, let's see what I will probably... No, you do. You do have an eyebrow raise, lead with the eyes, and then... That's good. Thank you, that's great. Huh? I think we can slightly push the beg your pardon into beg your into a narrower shape and then pardon, right? Beg your pardon. So it's beg your pardon, pa. Beg your. So you're. Your. Just have a little bit of. I know it's all mushing into one. Beg your pardon. And when you see beg pardon, but it'll be interesting to have a little bit of it. Ooh, in there, just a little bit of a contrast. I'm just reacting to this white shape, this white shape being a purely a reversal, and with something a bit more refined in there. And it also could be if you just do beg, and you only have an offset, which is good. Your pardon, like your pardon, wouldn't, wouldn't, like the you means that you're doing a bit narrower, and doesn't have to be like an O shape, but. It means that you narrow the corner so that part would be narrow as well. So good though. Beg your pardon, it's got to knock. So good. Yeah, it's great. It's got to knock. Love that. That's really nicely done here. Nice stuff on the jacket. Head forward to this is great. The stretchiness, relaxation on the arms is great. 
Kind of that look with that and the fleshiness in the eyes, a little bit of move in the head. It's great. So I'm extremely picky. Use adjust my two senses always. But other than that, uh, pick and choose what you need and what you want, what you can do. Uh, other than that, I think this looks done to me. It's got to knock. Beg your pardon. It's got to knock. What is this here? Watch out! Just a little. Uh, must be a crease in the shadowing there. It just kind of pops and appears. Watch out for that. And I have to be super picky again because I'm in picky mode. As you come up, you could even, instead of just doing a one axis thing here, it could be since it's kind of from coming from here, this move could have a little bit of an arc like that. Imagine that nose coming a bit towards us, up, and then a bit away from us into that. So it's a bit more, you know, way, right? Comes over and jacket type of thing. So good though. All right, I'm gonna keep quiet now, and that's it from me. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.